outage probability and coverage. This is Dr. Ali Mugabel, and we're covering outage probability and coverage. All right. Now, let me remind you again of where we are in our outline. Just finished shadowing models, combined path loss and shadowing. We'd like to understand how to use this to find the outage probability and coverage. And what is outage probability? That's what we want to do for now. Outage probability and coverage. What is outage probability? Outage probability is the probability that the received power falls below a given minimum threshold. So we have outage, no service. The probability, mathematically, it's function of the distance and the minimum required power uh, that the probability gets below a given threshold. So the outage probability is function of the minimum threshold and the distance. And it's the probability that the received power is below this threshold. If we just consider the path loss only, then we have the deterministic model, which is basically we have a circle. And in this circle, we have a transmitter. The power decay, as we go away from the transmitter, since we are only considering path loss, it is the same power received in a circle. If we are within a certain threshold, then there is no outage. Probability of being outage equal to zero. Once you exceed this boundary, the probability of outage becomes equal to one. So it's like a step function. This is the distance where we have the threshold power, and then it becomes probability of outage is one or zero. So this is distance. This is a probability. It's either zero or one. But this is not really the case. If you consider shadowing, then the received power will not just grow in a circle. We, can, we will have kind of this uh, strange shape because uh, this is the average path loss and then we have shadowing effect. So as you go away from the transmitter, the probability of being an outage would increase, but you can still be close and there will be some obstruction and you, uh, because of shadowing and then you are not connected. So distance only is not good enough. We need to consider the probability. So the probability grows as you go away from uh, from the this is kind of CDF as you go away from the transmitter. So the probability of outage in this case it is equal to the probability of the received power being less than or equal to a given minimum, whether you call it the distance x or d, which is again in dm. You can you can use the the dbm scale. It's just the same equation. And then, of course, we can change the model. And what we have here is the received power. So it's supported that the received power is less than the minimum threshold. Note that this model includes the shadowing here. And we have um, agreed that in dB, this is going to be normal or Gaussian random variable. So how do you find this probability? We'll, we'll give you the outage probability, the outage probability. So in this slide, we have defined outage probability which is the probability that the received power falls below a given minimum. Now let's summarize what we have said. The outage probability, if we consider only path loss, then it's deterministic, it's like a step function, or it, um, if you consider the path loss and shadowing, then it's not a straight shape. So path loss is like a circular shape here, in case of path loss only, and if case, in case of path loss and shadowing, it's like a uh, maybe a like bacteria shape here. So, uh, how do you find the probability? This, this, in case, this case is just deterministic. Once you tell me the distance, I can find um, the coverage here. I can find whether it's zero or one. So combining path loss and shadowing is the more interesting case. We just mentioned that we need to use the model. We have deterministic term, and we have the random term here, which is Gaussian. If we already include the average shadowing in the path loss, then this becomes a Gaussian random variable. Okay, and if we don't include the average shadowing, then the mean here becomes a positive quantity. Otherwise, it is equal to um, zero. So it's zero if it's included, and it's going to be positive quantity if it's, if it's not included in the path loss. We have said this before. Now, we also mentioned that the outage probability is 
the probability that they received power falls below a given threshold. So how do we find this probability? Okay, so probability of out, it's equal to, uh, for the log normal case, remember the shape here? Remember if you have a Gaussian distribution and you want to find the probability that uh, the value is less, less than a given value, then we can use the Q function. And specifically, it's going to be 1 minus the Q function, if you want to find uh, the complement of this. Uh, it's going to be 1 minus the Q function, the threshold minus what you get from the model. Okay. And then you divide by the standard deviation. You subtract the mean and you find you divide by the standard deviation. Okay, so if you find this, the probability of uh, of error, we will find we will be we will be able to find the threshold, the probability of outage. So we need k, we need the distance, we need so this will give us kind of the mean received power without uh, the shadowing. That's the, this term, and uh, we're going to subtract the quantity from the mean, divide by the standard deviation. And we get uh, the Q function for that. We need to use tables or MATLAB or a calculator. And then we can find 1 minus that to find the probability. So remember this equation. That's an important equation to find the probability of outage in case of um, pathos and shadowing. Now let's define the meaning of coverage. Coverage. The coverage area is the percentage of area within a cell where the received power exceed the minimum required power. So here is a cell, but not everything inside the cell is going to be covered. Why? Because we have a transmitter here. There could be some shadowing here, shadowing obstacles, and then part of this could be an outage. So you can see that we defined outage. It's supported that or the case where you have no connection. Why do we have outage in these slots? Because the probability of the received power is less than the minimum required. Now, to give to make it clear that uh, it's not really a circle, we're going to have kind of uh, maybe a shape, the bacteria shape, and we will have outage within some areas inside and outage here. Why? Because this is the area where we have where we expect to have signal uh, above the minimum required threshold. So according to the definition, the percentage of area within a cell, so within the cell, okay, how much area we have, exclude the areas where there is no coverage, where there is no, where there is, where there is outage, and divide, you get the coverage area, the percentage of coverage. So if everything is covered, you get 100%. Otherwise, you have to exclude the area within the cell that's not covered, where we have outage, and then divide by the total area to find the, this percentage. Now, this is the meaning of coverage, the percentage of coverage. You would love, of course, to have 100% coverage. Remember that the transmitter is going to be fixed here for a fixed transmitter. And I would like to be careful because we have the following two questions and you might miss, miss them. So what happens when the shadowing variance increases? When the shadowing variance increases, uh, you expect to get something like this, maybe more variance and Okay, then I think logically you expect that to have um, less coverage, right? So, according to what our guess, what happens when we, the shadowing variance increases? We have coverage is less. The second, sorry, the second question is what happens when the path loss increases? Uh, maybe a first way of thinking would say that as the path loss increases, then we have. Uh, more loss, so we just have less coverage. But this is not true because if we have higher path loss, it means we need to increase the transmitter power. Because when we when we find a cell, when we define a cell, basically we define it within the coverage area. So for if we increase um, the path loss, we expect to increase the transmitter power. So this is why the coverage would increase because for a stronger path loss, we would have started with a stronger power. Okay, you can think in a different way, but these are, um, I mean, one way of thinking. Exercise outage probability. Uh, as you might notice, we have seen this example before 
where we found we would have found we found the variance around the path loss assuming a carrier frequency fc equal to 2 gigahertz if you found this answer then that would make your life easy now we would like to find the outage probability at the distance d assuming assuming that the received power assuming that the received power here uh, at distance d to path loss alone is 10 db above the required so we, we already have 10 db so we can go uh, minus 10 db we can go minus 10 db below that average power so um, for the case of non-outage so uh, and then we are asked whether this value of outage is it large or small is this outage probability large or small value let me remind you or give you a quick hint we already found that k equal to minus 29.24 we already found that gamma equal to 4 for this case and if you already found the standard deviation then you can use it and we know that the shadowing is going to follow a Gaussian distribution and if uh, path loss is already taken care of uh, the shadowing average so this is going to be normal Gaussian and remember that we want to find the probability that we are less than minus 10 db because the power required power at our distance has a margin of 10 so we can go minus 10 db uh, assuming that we are at the average of zero so uh, we had this equation if you recall we know d we know k from here only to recall is your answer to the standard deviation if you if you don't if you haven't done this you can find the variance for for this case and then you find the standard deviation and once you substitute you get this property you should get a small we, we would love to have a, to get a small number if this number is large then this is something something not good because the outage probability is the probability that there is no coverage the, the probability that there is no connection uh, that we are below the threshold so please share your answer in the comment section and uh, everybody if everybody writes his answer it will be a while till you get the answer uh, you can share your code if you do it with MATLAB in the comment section please if you do it with MATLAB and you can share your, your code or if you want you can share just the final answer we can cross validate our answers and see whether you got it right or not don't ask me for an answer I would expect more than one comment on on that regard uh, so uh, that's it regarding outage property and we'll see you next.